Welcome back to another episode of the BBR KLX 170 build and today I'm going to be swapping over the carb and then we're going to show you how to tune a brand new carb and set it up for your bike. Well I'm sure most of you guys know that when you guys are doing a big bore kit if you guys are upgrading into like a bigger engine into your bike or something you're going to need to upgrade your carburetor. So here we have a genuine VM26 Makuni carburetor and this is what we're going to be swapping into our bike. First we need to set it up for our bike and make sure it's all dialed in. So anytime I get a new carb that I'm putting in a bike or even if I got an old carb I want to know what's inside it for jettings and I want to make sure the float is set up correctly. So let's go ahead and let's dive into this thing. So first off, we're going to look at the carb and I want to figure out exactly what everything is so I know what I'm playing with. So the very first thing we can see here, we have our choke. So we have a two-way position choke and we have our idle screw here. Then we can see we have our fuel screw located here. And then this is going to be our fuel supply. So this is where fuel is going to be going into the carburetor. Here at the very bottom, we have our bowl drain. And then here we just have a vacuum line. So the first thing I want to do is I want to pop off the bowl and I want to see what jets this thing has come stock with as we do have recommendations from BBR on what jets and pilot jet to run. So let's go ahead and just see what we got in stock so we know what we're working with. All we need to do to get access to the bowl and to the jets is take off these four Phillips screws on the bottom of the bowl. All right, then once you got those four screws out, the bolt can come off the bottom here. Actually, that's pretty neat. On this carb, if you take this bottom bolt out, it gives you direct access to be able to change the main jet out without taking the bowl off. So that's kind of cool. I like that. That's that's trick. I haven't seen that before. Looks like it's got a stock 190 on it. So for now, we're going to keep the 190 jet that we have in it in the stock 22 and a half pilot jet. Now, the only other thing I want to check while we're here is pull this cap off. I want to see where the needle clip position is. I just want to set it at neutral, which is going to be the third clip spot, which is going to be right down in the center. I don't know if you guys will see that, but there's little tiny nubs in here where your clip can sit and this is going to adjust uh, the needle and how far down it sits in the main jet. So for right now, we're just going to start with it at the uh, middle clip position. So let's go ahead and stick this all back together now that we know where it is. Actually, we got to go ahead and we got to connect our new throttle cable to this. So we'll go over to the bike and let's go ahead and let's connect our throttle cable. So here we have our conversion cable. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to stick it down the throat of the new top cap. Then we're going to stick our spring over top. We're gonna compress the spring down, we'll pull the cable out, and then there's a hole in there where you can see the nub will fit directly in. We're gonna pop it into that hole. Right now you guys can see it went in the big hole over on this side, and then we slide it over down here, and now it's locked in, and this is all set up as one unit. Now along with the carb kit, it comes with this adapter flange, which we need to use to be able to adapt to the Makuni carburetor. So that's gonna go on our engine port here, like so. And then we got all the gaskets and the extra rubber, so let's go ahead and we're just gonna slap that on the bike like this. Boom, just like that, we got our adapter piece here. So let's go ahead and let's see if our carb fits and uh, I guess we can try and fire it up. Now, one thing you gotta do before we do that is we gotta figure out where is our fuel screw mixture at. So let's go ahead and screw it in and count the turns. So we got a half, there's only about one, so there's dead. Okay, so it was at like just over three quarters of a turn. So we're gonna go one half, one total turn, one and a half, and we're gonna start it there. So we're gonna go one and a half turns out. And we're gonna try that. So let's go ahead, let's stick this in the bike. And let's hope that everything here, uh, it all fits. Let's just go ahead and stick it in like this. All right, total nightmare, but the carb is in. We got a fuel tank on and uh, it's kind of the time to just see what's gonna happen. So just gotta put the fuel clip down. There's really no, uh, no room to get in here. That's what I'm finding out. Is this thing kind of sucks to put on. Finally gonna put some fuel in it and I guess see what happens. See how it runs, I guess. Should be fuel in the carb. Right, gotta pull the choke. Choke's in the worst spot ever when there's a plastic on. It's in a great spot. It's that outer end. Oh, that's out. So we're choke out. See if this pig starts. Okay, it's running. And it's revving to the moon. Holy crap. I think this needs to be way in. That's ridiculously loud. Let's try it in more. Okay, it instantly wants to rev to the moon. We'll come back to that. Well, we got the carb in and it kind of runs, so we gotta figure out from here, but I think it's dinner time. We're gonna go get some food. We'll come back to this in a sec. All right, after a few minutes of finagling around here. She works and she runs. She sounds insane. Hell yeah, boys, let's go. Woo! 
Well, it seems like all that's left is to go out and uh, break the engine in and fiddle with it a bit more and try and dial in the fueling. But after playing with it for a little while, it just ended up that the throttle linkage on the actual throttle was wound out. So it was stuck at like a mid rev. So that's why it was screaming loud is because of the throttle cable. So we just did a little bit of adjustments and uh, sucked the cable back into the throttle. And now the thing runs like pretty freaking good. So I'm pretty stoked on that. It sounds crazy. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you go down below, click that like button, click subscribe for more because there's a lot more coming with the BBR 170. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.